Well, they're waiting for you at the gas station. They're waiting for you outside the grocery store and in parking lots across the city. It's not just one or two. They travel in mass, sometimes by the thousands. And this week's Take This Job, I take on the growing grackles of Austin. They may have gotten a bad rap in the movies. And at times they appear downright aggressive. They're crazy. They've definitely flown right by my face. But grackles, a type of blackbird, aren't all that scary to Austin Maureen. So we deal with grackles. Maureen is a regional manager for Urban Bird Services. I'm going to be official. And today his job. So put this on. Make it our job is to make sure these migratory travelers don't spend too much time in Austin as they make their way across Texas. How far does this laser go? This is a powerful tool. It can touch the moon. The lasers do not hurt them at all. We're just going to help them with that extra push. Sorry, guys. To send them you gotta skedaddle. south or north, depending on the season. You may be wondering what problems grackles pose. Well, for one, they're bad for business. The Downtown Austin Alliance uses urban bird services to keep patios and storefronts free and clear from the birds' uh, business. They're using the restroom everywhere. It smells, it looks nasty, and it's just an ugly view. You think we should go this way? At 7th and I-35, they look for the best trees. We spotted our targets. Aim for those two trees right there. Right there? Yep, yep. and then go to for the one right behind it. There you go. Awareness is key to this job. So if you're going to point it, make sure you start higher just because there's vehicles under the tree. You didn't want to point it at somebody's eyes. Steering clear of people, planes, and cars is a necessity. Oh, my goodness. Watch your head. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my luck. It's going to relieve itself right here. Yep. My luck. And if lasers just aren't doing the trick, it's time to break out the slapsticks. But this is no laughing matter at least for the birds. We pretty much slap, it wakes them up, and we can use our continue using our laser. True technicians also study and understand grackle patterns and habits. Which tree? This one? This right one right here on the corner. Well, I became familiar with some of their tools. This just moves the birds, but we have other proprietary methods we use to abate the birds. It's proprietary, so he can give me some of the secrets, but he can't <laughs> give me that much. And I understand. We're very effective at what we do, and we could clear out a whole city a few days to a week. Tonight, I felt productive. If this TV gig doesn't work out, <gasps> Madre Santa, I may have found my new <laughs> calling. <laughs> we had a good time. What a unique job, right? Grackles are roosting or resting at dusk and dawn, so you'll spot technicians out at night or super early in the morning. And fun fact, the busiest time of the year for grackles is between October and February. But isn't that interesting that that's the job of these technicians? And just to annoy them enough to get out of town, basically? I mean, you just kind of move them along yeah. gently and calmly and nicely because they're federally protected. You oh, know what I mean? Oh, that's why. So you've why. got to be cool with the birds and everything. But um, the, also the urban bird services, they deal with a lot of downtowns, not just Austin, but they do this to help spur you know business right. downtown so that all the downtowns can be free and clear of kind of the mess yeah you, you don't know? want to go out to restaurants and eat when there's you birds know, flying over i mean don't you feel that way sometimes I, I my sons try to feed them i'm like no, no! <laughs> and then you turn and then there's like 10 of them you yeah. know what i mean see i kind of like the thrill sometimes when you're running um and there's a lot of them because it's almost like an obstacle course because yeah. you're like dodging it's like it. russian you're roulette dodging. Yeah. by yeah. the way in order you to kind of be um i guess motivated for the story and to have inspiration I I did watch The Birds did from you? Hitchcock. <laughs> okay. It was a really, it's a really good, you know, 1963 movie. See, I need to go back and watch. I am a huge film connoisseur, yeah. and so I need, I need to go back and add that classic to my watch list. You know, 